Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we'll be using this Kenworth T680 sleeper to haul a load of concrete road barriers from Bakersfield to Carlsbad, California. We'll be hopping here on the inside. The load weighs just around 66,000 pounds and we are being paid $6,700 and it's just around 4 p.m. here in game. We'll get this Kenworth started up here, turn the parking brake off and we'll be heading out. And I did update a few of the graphics and I will be kind of working on on them as we do continue with uh, these American Truck Simulator videos but you guys can see today will be one pretty exciting day now uh, the game does tell us how much we are getting per mile and it's $28 a mile that's not the best but that isn't actually that bad and I'm excited to be back here in American Truck Simulator I really do enjoy featuring this here every single Wednesday for all of you guys and like I did touch on I will be working on the graphics I did actually have to reinstall my game and I will have to kind of fix those a little bit uh, more kind of off camera but I do have it completely maxed out and I am using the Logitech G29 racing steering wheel here today along with all of my other American Truck Simulator videos I mean this is just so nice to use it does add to the realism here we do have flags and an oversized load sign I'm not sure exactly why but this is like a modded trailer so I mean it's pretty cool what 66,000 pounds that is quite a lot of weight We'll have to pull forward here because it looks like it's actually pretty hard to see, but wow, it looks like actually we are good to go, and we'll have to be a bit careful there going into the bushes just a little, but wow, we did it there. It was a bit tricky, and it looks like we actually do not have auto off turn signals. I will have to turn that back on. I just really did like that feature, and let's kind of take a look at our digital dash. Do we have a digital speedometer? It looks like this Kenworth does not offer that, but it looks like we are going like 10 under the speed limit now you always do want to go the speed limit I mean not really over not really less unless it's like bad weather you do always want to go a bit slower but wow this Kenworth isn't doing that bad we us uh, 35 but our GPS uh, lets us know which is great and wow pretty sharp turn usually on these turns I do take it a little bit slower once we do get on the freeway we'll do some cinematic shots and kind of just take a look here at today's load if you do have any cool ideas here for American Truck Simulator, please let me know down below in the comments. We are doing quick jobs, which is pretty nice because we get to use a variety of trucks and haul a variety of loads without having one truck using it and then having to keep buying a new truck every single video. I don't think that is too realistic, but this is when we just go uh, company to company and we do that. You guys can see getting on the highway here isn't that bad. Looks like there's quite a bit of traffic coming up and is this car going to go? Yep, and wow, we actually got on very nice. Usually, you do uh, want to give yourself enough time, but semi-trucks, you can't really stop because these take a very long time to get going. I do have some very cool things here coming to the channel, so if you guys are excited for it, and if you haven't already seen it, I am currently working on a new John Deere mower. It's a John Deere 9000A train cup mower and I'm working on two compact tractors which will be released kind of towards the start of the fall. It's the John Deere 1025R with a loader and mower deck and then we also we also do have a Kubota BX series with a front end loader on the front and then the backhoe attachment. So both of those I am currently in gaming working on and you guys will be seeing here in some pretty cool videos and I do have a a few more mods that I will be working on probably release those in FS on 19 but you guys since it looks like we're doing a pretty good job we'll set a cruise here looks like 58 nope we want to set it for 55 we'll set the cruise here for up We'll set the cruise here for 55 and we'll get going. And you guys can see that car there did break down, which is not good. And let's kind of take a look. It looks like we are going straight through here. So we'll just uh, continue here on the roads and we'll do some more cinematic shots. Take a look at that. I just really do like it. It is pretty hard to drive here in this uh, view, but I do a pretty good job at it. And wow, this T680 sleeper, I mean, is a very nice one. Do like a lot. And there are some pretty uh, big trucks coming up. Uh, quite a few of them, even a dumb truck and I do recommend you go check out the extending the driveway series it's a pretty big project but I have been really enjoying that and let's kind of take a look I think we'll stop here get some uh, diesel let's take a look at how much it is I wish the sign was a bit easier to see from a further distance and 317 that isn't that bad and a regular is 308 so wow 
that isn't actually that big of a difference, but for like diesel trucks, you do pay a premium price to get that. So as you guys can see, we'll be uh, filling up here. Looks like 318, so the sign is uh, point one uh, off and you guys can see 46 gallons at $149 isn't that bad we get rolling here and we'll hop back here on the highway now getting on the highway is going to be a bit tricky but our employer did cover the cost which is nice and if you haven't already I do recommend you go over to Instagram and Twitter and give me a follow I do post some pretty cool pictures on Instagram every single day there's actually a break here in the traffic wow that actually worked out very nice for us double checking multiple times I I don't really like just to use a mirror. I like looking back, making sure because objects in the mirror uh, seem closer than what they are also. Now we do have our water temperatures up here, just trying to take a look. It is a very warm day here in California, upwards of 100 degrees out, so we do have to be pretty careful. It looks like we have uh, eight, uh, just around uh, 1,000 miles here, and we are averaging 3.3 miles per gallon here for the tank. It isn't actually that bad. This is only 220 miles, and uh, we'll be fine. And the next worker here will be good. And it looks like it might be a little bit on like the sunset because it was a four hour drive and we did start this at just round four. So we should be uh, kind of arriving at the uh, destination probably around 8 to 8.30. Looks like we'll be getting off the highway over here and we've just around 15 miles up here in today's haul. It's been a very nice day for us and this Kenworth sleeper has been doing a very nice job for us. It has been quite of a bit of traffic here on the freeway, but we did do a very nice job. I am going to be doing a Euro Truck Simulator video very soon for all of you guys, which should be pretty exciting. And I'm also going to be getting the mod so we could go into Canada. I think that that will be a pretty cool thing to do. Looks like our destination is over here just down the street from where we are, which is nice. And wow, there's quite a bit of traffic. Looks like there's like a service truck there. There's a few semis. And and we'll just double check and it looks like yep they are turning so we'll turn I always do double check to make sure they are going where their blinker is going sometimes uh, the blinker is on but they keep going straight then you cause an accident so it's always nice to make sure and you guys can see we'll just turn our lights on and yep our lights are on just checking the high beams there and you do want to come to a complete stop for just around three to four seconds before you, you do go. And our destination is right up over here to our, our right. But like I have touched upon in many videos, if you do have any cool ideas, always let me know down below in the comments. It's a lot of fun to upload every single day to YouTube. And you guys are the ones that are making it possible, which is pretty epic. And I do appreciate all of the support. And I hope you guys do have a great day today. And we are just now arriving. Driving. looks like it's right over here we'll take this turn and looks like we actually are not supposed to take it so we'll have to keep going wow good save there else we would have to go around the block and possibly uh, not really go anywhere but it looks like we are here yep and uh, we'll pull in we'll see where they want us to do it and this one I think we'll back in it it shouldn't be too hard to do We'll have to come to a complete stop here. And I do quite a lot of modifications, and I do get all the modifications off of the Steam Workshop. It's pretty easy. You select the mod, you find it, and uh, you just press download, and it automatically goes into the game. That is a very, very cool feature. So getting this in here might be a bit tricky. We'll try to come as close as we can here to this wall, and it's just right around the corner. Wow, looks like very, very big excavator arm, and this might be a bit tricky to do. And we'll have to switch out of this view. Let's come and take a look. Wow, going up and over one of the curbs there. Wow, I do not really see that curb. And we should be able to uh, keep turning and make it. Almost looks like we are going to be jackknifing it. But wow, we actually did a very nice job here turning around in this pretty tight area. I also really do like the color here. It looks like this is like an off-white, which isn't that bad at all. And it looks like almost we are having transmission problems, which sometimes does happen. These are company trucks, and a variety of drivers do drive them. And then uh, we just have to use what they give us, which is always okay. But we'll be back in this in. It shouldn't be too much longer. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's American Trucks Minute video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And subscribe for more.